Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So let's start off with Dolja Cat and Meek Mill. A lot of fans have been asking me, did Meek Mill get turned down by Dolja Cat because he wanted a feature? Allegedly, Meek Mill wanted Dolja Cat and another male rapper on a song with him. Allegedly, the song was supposed to be like a twerk anthem. It wasn't necessarily supposed to be like a pop record, but it was supposed to be like a twerk anthem, something for the clubs, because Meek needs a hit record, and he needs a female rapper on the song. You can't talk about twerking and not have a female rapper. Now, allegedly, he tried to do another record with Cardi B a few years ago. Okay, this is not recent. And then he also reached out to Megan. So he did reach out to, you know, the hottest female rappers, which is Megan, Cardi, and Doja Cat. Um, but Doja Cat, from what I was told, allegedly, it doesn't go with her brand. And from what I heard, allegedly, her team doesn't feel like the collaboration would be worth it. It had nothing to do with Nicki Minaj, okay? Um, because from what I'm hearing, she's going to work with Megan Thee Stallion. So if it was because of Nikki, then, you know, I don't think she would have worked with Megan considering Megan's history of being fake, you know, towards certain people that, you know, she fell out with in the past. But in regards to Meek, um, allegedly he doesn't really go well with her brand. You know, um, a lot of these rappers are getting tied up with the feds. Look at what's going on with uh, Gunna and Young Thug, okay? They're coming after these rappers now. But if Meek Mill had a hit record right now, I feel like Doja Cat would have collaborated with him if he was a little bit more popping, okay? And maybe that will change in the future. If he get a hit record in the future, I'm sure Doja Cat would hop on it. Even though Meek Mill said that Nicki Minaj is not very much liked in the industry, the same thing could be said about Meek Mill because allegedly he has trouble getting um, female rappers to collaborate with him. He has trouble getting certain collaborations, even with the Camel Face cosign. So if he was so well liked and if everybody liked him, he would be getting collaborations like Little Baby and Lil Durk. Wouldn't he? Um, you know, people would be jumping to collaborate with him, but he's suffering musically, even with Atlantic and Camel Face behind him. But he was talking about Nicki Minaj. How ironic. Mm. Moving on to Coyle Ray. So she does a performance and she kicks a man off stage because he was getting a little touchy feely with her while she was twerking them cheeks right in front of his face. Let me know in the comments who's in the right, who's in the wrong. Now, I do feel like men need to keep their hands to themselves. They definitely do. Um, it doesn't matter um, what's going on. She did not consent um, to you putting your hands on her body. But to play devil's advocate, um, Coyle Ray might want to just bring up girls on the stage. Because at the end of the day, um, putting your butt and your coochie and men's faces, not everybody is going to keep their hands to themselves. You know what I'm saying? I can understand if you was just walking by and somebody touch you, then I'd be like, okay, completely in the wrong. But Corey LeRae, I understand you're trying to put on a performance, but a lot of these guys don't have home training, okay? You might not want to put your coochie in the man's face. I saw that she did that also, um, in, um, her performance. And then she also was twerking with them cheeks right in front of their faces and she barely had any clothes on. Um, so I don't really understand why would you do that knowing that they could potentially touch you. What you need to do is strap them up like Janet Jackson, you know, Janet Jackson, when she used to do her dances with fans strapped up so that they could not touch her. And I think that's what you need to do. You need to tie them up or something like that. Make sure they fill out with consent form and, you know, perform your show. Because at the end of the day, not every guy is just going to completely not touch you when you're putting your cat in their faces. No shade. 
Okay? Not everybody has class. You know, most of these niggas, they don't. So you got to you gotta move accordingly. Moving on to Sweetie. So allegedly, Sweetie is having trouble with putting out music because her last couple singles didn't do so well. So her label is having issues with budgeting and how they should promote Sweetie because they have not fully recouped from her last few drops. If you guys remember, she dropped, you know, that single called Worser or Closer, whatever it was called. Um, then it was Copper Chain. Um, prior to that, she did the feature with French Montana and Doja Cat, and that flopped. And it's no shade to Sweetie. I actually feel like Sweetie thrived more musically, in my opinion, when she wasn't signed. When Sweetie first came out, she had them hot records. But I feel like, you know, they're trying to force her to be mainstream. And that just doesn't work for everybody. I feel like they want all these female rappers to go pop because it means more money in their pockets. They will appeal to the Caucasian, um, you know, white people, Latino people. Um, and then on top of that, when you do a pop slash rap record, you get more radio play. Okay. And that's just what it is. Um, so with that being said, I feel like, you know, sweetie in the future, she'll probably put something out. It may not get a big push. You know, it may not get a lot of radio play like closer did because closer was on pop radio. Um, but I think that sweetie should just try to get out of her contract and maybe go independent. I feel like when she put out music independently, it sounds better. Okay, because there's not too many people in her ear. When Sweetie first dropped and she made Icy Girl, you know, that song was hard. I think she needs to go back to that era. Moving on to Megan. Um, so it looks like, you know, a few people on social media are debating whether or not Megan Thee Stallion is the greatest um, female rapper of this generation. So let me know how you guys feel about that. Um, I could have sworn a few weeks ago, people were calling her the worst rapper, but now she's the greatest rapper. You see how fickle people on social media are. I mean, one minute they love Megan, one minute they don't. It's kind of crazy. But let me know how you guys feel about that. Moving on to Cardi B. Um, allegedly I'm hearing that a few brands want to work with Cardi B in regards to some sort of skin, makeup, hair care line. Okay, so it could be one of those three. Let me know if you guys would support. She has talked about what she does with her hair in the past and how it got to be so long. Um, I don't know if she's ever really done a skincare routine. And I don't know if she's that into makeup, but I know that she does like the hair stuff on TikTok. So with that being said, would you guys support Cardi B's hair care, makeup, or skincare line? Because it looks like Cardi B will definitely be getting into her bag. Moving on to Chloe and Normani's album predictions, okay, for first week sales. Now, starting with Chloe, I think she can do organically 30 to 25,000 first week, okay? The reason being is because Chloe don't got no hits. Okay, Have Mercy wasn't really a hit like that. Um, Treat Me, that was just, I don't know what you would call that. So if she's not really making noise with her singles, I don't know how much noise she's going to make with her album. Okay, it would have to be stacked with A-list collaborations, but even that may not help her. Look at the Migos. They had A-list collaborations, and they still didn't even debut at number one. And then we're looking at Koi Ray. She only did like 11K first week, 9K first week, and she had a lot of collaborations on her album. So I feel like maybe um, Chloe might do like 15 to 20,000 first week, actually, because... I can't really see her doing a lot if the music is not really translating into sales, okay? But Chloe is very talented. And actually, I feel like she should remix Gallus and put that on the album, okay? Um, Because at the end of the day, um, that cover was fire. And I think that she should use that to her advantage. Moving on to Normani. 
Um, I feel like Normani could do maybe 30 to 40, okay? The minimum I feel like she would do is maybe 25K, only because I feel like Normani has a bigger fan base than Chloe. And I think that sonically, when Normani does an up tempo type of record, people really gravitate towards it. When she does the slow records, no. Nobody gravitates to it, but when she does the turn up music and she actually dances, I feel like a lot of people like those type of songs. You know what I'm saying? Um, I liked Fair, but a lot of people did not like Fair because they felt like it was boring. But if she started dancing and she put on a show like she did with her past singles, I think she can really thrive. So let me know how you guys feel about that. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and have an amazing day.